Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Imladris campaign. I almost said Isengard campaign or something, but yeah, that's just the, the way it works. So one thing that I gotta say is that we take, we've taken Goblin Town on the last episode and finally our finances are getting a little bit better. Uh, we also have this diplomat here that's going to achieve some trade agreements and get us some gold coins. So it's actually working out perfectly because on two turns I'm going to have a few units available, four units available. And I can also recruit a new diplomat and a new spy, which are very important. They do not cost too much in upkeep. And those, uh, both the spy and the, the other agent, are going to go on this side just to get a few extra trade agreements, some map information, all that stuff. I would like to be uh, at peace with actually the, the remnants of Angmar for now and then conquer them later until I've, dis uh, I've destroyed the Orcs of the Misty Mountains. Also, on uh, one other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this army heading on, you know, just... Uh, Playing with them, you know, trying to get a few more uh, cities with them. But the army that I'm going to build up here is going to go down. Because it's going to be four units. It's going to be four units. And even a, a fifth one, if I can get this place to recruit something in the meantime. It has 6% of the elves' culture. Well, I guess I should require an art gallery there. But I don't know. I think just the first one is a good investment. The second one is really... A, a massive investment for just one extra culture bonus, you know, you know, spending almost three thousand gold or two thousand five hundred gold for just one percent culture increase bonus. Ugh, that's really a problem. Okay, but no problem for now. Kameth Rin, you're certainly not going to have too much. Yeah, certainly, I prefer to have two uh, uh, artist studios than just one upgrade. Okay, and the turn on this. Uh, let me just see if there are no spawn stacks for the orcs of the Misty Mountains. If there are, well, I'll have to deal with them with a full army of my um, my elves. Orcs of the Misty Mountains. It's their turn. It, if they have a stack, it didn't attack. Chieftain of the Orcs is dead. It was me. They have lost their capital. Okay, that's not exactly a stack, is it? So, high pass cleared. Nice. Okay. New family members, some end of turn report. I have money now. And in terms of construction, I should build up either market or communal farming or artist stu artist studio here. That's it. That's what I actually need. Or in Goblin Town, where Goblin Town can do a grain exchange, or even recruit a diplomat and a spy. Almost, well, actually both of them. I would like that because the diplomat and spy, one spy can actually go on the other side. Not that I actually need. Yes, my lord. Let me check one Has thing. Woodland Realm. Do you want trade rights? Balanced? You hold us at Barely accepted. Okay. So this is not like I was thinking. Map information. Let me see their, their poor wealth. Balanced. I think I'm just going to ask for like seven, 600. Ugh. Acceptable. Just accepted. Alliance. It's a demanding. Wow, it's demanding. Hmm. Interesting. So diplomacy is back to the 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 medieval two propositions. Okay, this diplomat is gonna go and try to get to Dale and the dwarves. Mission success. I now have two extra sword quindy. They are not getting me in any upkeep problems, which is quite good, quite nice. Oh, there is a mountain orc army here, so I'm gonna have to get down with these Goblin Town units. Let me get this spy around, uh, let's see here. Yeah, this seems to be northern Dunedain stuff. Yeah. 
Chemist Brin is doing fine. So, I'm gonna take this small army and head with this army back. Because this guy can reach Zakala in a few turns. What is it? Yeah. So, actually, do I have enough time to capture that? I don't know. I'm gonna withdraw. What do they have? Some Snug Archers and Goblin Infantry? Yeah, I'm gonna fight it off, even though it's gonna be pretty easy. I'm not on the need for a new general, but I wouldn't mind one, even if it costed a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna have to get one unit here to defend. Start a deployment. So they have a good place here. They have some good places. So I'm gonna have to keep one unit to defend on the castle. And hopefully I'm gonna make this battle without losing anyone. Just just so I can leave one sword candy behind. Yeah, there we go. Archers, deploy here. Run into position. Cavalry, deploy here, run into position. Let's fast forward. He's coming against me. Let me deploy you here. Actually, yeah, they can't attack on this side. So, I'm just gonna have you guys on the flanks, my archers can actually get out. Oh, these are the sword quindy. Actually, just have them here. Run them down. Archers are doing their damage against skirmishers and goblin infantry. I gotta say, they're doing a lot of damage, actually. Maybe he's not even gonna reach us. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm th I'm thinking. They're probably not even gonna reach a range, actually. That's a rain of arrows if you've ever seen one. They also shoot a lot more arrows than other units, I believe. <laughs> and they lost half their men while walking around. You know, they still haven't they still haven't reached us. 69%, I love that number. On Snaga Archers, or they're actually attacking the Goblin Infantry. Well, I'm gonna start attacking the Snaga Archers. And the Snaga Archers are probably going to start attacking me. They're 48. Yeah, I'm attacking you, guys. You should be getting the hell out of here. This is actually what would happen in real life if you were against three units of Archers from the elves they're so overpowerful <laughs> they're not overpowered guys the thing is it's really uh, uh, there are not a lot of ways to play with the elves you know you have to rely on small pocket armies because you're not gonna a full army of the elves is just so costly now let's run run you can also have uh, interesting uh, elven armies with only archers which I'll probably make one or two, you know, with just archers. Should be an interesting idea as well. Yeah, let's have these cavalrymen running around. My archers are doing everything. Times two. Poor boy. 99%. And 100 in a few shots. Let's see how many arrows he can withstand. Oh, it reminds me of Boromir. Look at that. Although the arrows should be hitting. You know, this doesn't simulate health. This actually simulates the lack of accuracy. But I'm pretty sure that a hundred arrows wouldn't hit him. Okay. Zero men lost. That's exactly how I like my battles. And now I'm going to go down, si down south. Uh, their settlements, the Misty Mountain settlements on uh, on the north, are really not easy to to get to. You know, I would need Gundabad. I would need. To, I would prefer to go through to Gundabad than you know to cross the Valesmen's towns and such. Okay, do I have anything else here? I guess I can build a watchtower. Yeah, we'll need all of them. And the new one here. 
Why not? You need three turns to reach there. So hopefully I'll have some garrison army here. If not, I will need to reinforce with Elrond and these Sword Quendies. That's nice. Yeah, where's my diplomat? He's gonna go over there. Have I built my other diplomats? I can't remember. No, I started them now. I still haven't ended up the turn, which is now. Okay, there we go. The Veil of Endwin. Oh, who is moving through that area? Who is moving there? Hmm. Okay, let's just see if the orcs of the Misty Mountains don't attack us. It seems there's no script. There's just the garrison script and no horde script. Reinforce Goblin Town to get more units. In five turns, at least with four units. Well, I guess we got our... Uh, we got our answer. With at least four units? Yeah, it's gonna be the Sword Wendy. That's it. Goblin Town certainly needs that. It does need the artist studio as well. And Zag Kala and Imladris cannot build anything. I can build some units. I can build some units. You can't construct anything. You can construct a letter tunnel, which I find I find really bad, I gotta say. Okay, Imladris, I'm gonna take these units out. I know it's a dangerous place to be in, but I don't want to leave that uh, army uh, over there. Let me just check a little bit on this, uh, on these forces. I think I'm going to send this guy south. This other spy is going to go here to Renma or to Angmar, I mean. And this diplomat, you're going to check out the northern Dunlands uh, and other stuff. Where is this diplomat? Yes, my lord. Come on, I wanna check Dale. Where is Dale? Woodland realm. Yes. Without question. Yeah, this is I Dale territory. I guess tomorrow's so. journey planned out. I yeah. shall continue tomorrow. Seems Dale territory for me. So, Goblin Town, can you recruit anyone? No, but in Ladris I can recruit someone. I think I'm gonna have the Noratimo warriors. At least one unit starting now. Come, my brothers. Come, my brothers. So, I'm having some problems with the upkeep, of course. Elves. But surely these. Uh, he wanted Goblin Town reinforced with five units, is it? Increase your forces here by at least four units. I give it four units, or did I give it three? I think I gave it three units or four. Well, let's just end up the turn and see if we got the uh, the achievement there or the mission there. Oh, the Vale of Enwyn is here. Okay, let's see the Orcs of the Misty Mountains. Are you going to attack me? If he does, I'll lose that city and retake it, of course. But in the beginning, that was just to be expected. Yeah, there we go. He's besieging, but he didn't attack. Which means that I can attack him. And I got the successful mission and I have more Sword Quindy. Nice. I'm actually recruiting more through that. Artist Studio and now you can get a land clearance. You can get some more units. Which I believe should be important. Bo Quindy. That's it. Let me see if my uh, diplomats can do something else. Spy. They're over here, more of a tarth, it's from them. Yes, my lord. Diplomat, you can check that out. Spy, let's check these places out. Dunedain capital. I think it's a Faistian that's making a Dunedain, a northern Dunedain campaign. So, can you actually move there? No, you can't. Barely near Imladris, so... Uh, how many turns does it take? Yeah, I'm not going to go for that. I'm just going to go for Imladris and suffer not a lot of upkeep for the moment. I could retrain some of these units, but no problem there. Okay, I know he has a few archers and some goblin infantry, but 
I gotta go with Elrond. Lord Master Elrond. Let's go for it. Yeah, I do get my captain there. Let's have a few skirmishes and the Goblin Infantry. Well, the good thing about my archers, and I think the... Uh, uh, about my, not my archers, my swordsmen, is that they are pretty fast. And I think Elrond does have uh, some kind of ability. If he'd had swiftness, like, um... Who's the guy that has swiftness on moss? Can't remember, one of the, well, the elves. But it actually helps out uh, on these situations where you only have uh, infantry. And look at those Imladris gods. Wow! Power of the Eldar, not available anymore. Hmm. I guess they don't have the power. I got power! Okay, no. Don't ever do that again. Uh, can they actually deploy there? And would I even be able to move there? Well, if they deploy there, I'm in big trouble. Because I should have deployed here. I may lose this battle just because I can't reach them. And I can't take them out of Phalanx Formation, it seems. Yeah, and they did deploy it over there. How can I reach that side? Can I go through here? It doesn't allow me. Or does it? I think it does, actually. But that will mean a lot of casualties. Okay, let's just deploy my men here. Fast forward. My god, I'm gonna lose a lot of men due to their archers. Got some reinforcements. They're gonna be with some problems in terms of the movement. Hopefully, or thankfully, my my men actually uh, get some bonuses for uh, swiftness. For um, how's it called? Stamina. They have stamina bonuses, so I'm pretty fine. Increases combat effectiveness, locks morale, decreases fatigue. This is gonna be necessary here. Let me just group you up in one group. And now, what am I going to do? I'm going to move here. That's it. Good. I'm going to move there. Oh, these guys are really fast. Are they fast moving? They're not, but for some reason they do move faster. I should have just stopped them. That's it, come on. He's still moving away, you can see on the minimap, and uh, by small movements there, by the works of Misty Mountains. Yeah, that's nice. So, I can move you here. That's good. I'm approaching, I'm approaching. Come on, Imladis Gods. Where are you going to move? Hopefully, you can go... Th oh, hang on a second. Okay, you guys. Do I need that? Yes, I need that. Imladris God, just move here. You can't double time. And now use the power of the Elder! Where's the other units? There you are. Okay, so actually Eldar is going to manage quite well. Yeah, especially if he does come like this. Now you guys can get through. That's it. Times two. I want to get through my own units into their backs. Shift one. Actually group. Let's take it slower, boys. I'm glad he actually sent him these all in. Oh my god! <sighs> Gonna have to be pursuing those guys all night long. I'm fighting in the worst possible s scenario, but my men are actually doing quite well. Shaken, let's attack those skirmishes. Actually move, make them move, make them move. That's it. My elder guys can attack those Snaga skirmishes. Have lost like 2% of my men, which is nothing. 
My god, where are his other units? There you are. Okay, skirmishers, are they gonna reload? Yes, they are. Let's just move up. Come on, I know they're very tired. I know. I know you're tired. That Now it's when I should actually issue the the order. I thought I would have it, it again. You know, I thought I would have the ability twice on the battle. It looks like I don't. These guys are routing. They're not gonna get through my Mladris guards. Okay, let's just attack them here. Come on, run here. Once they are over there, then I'll be able to manage pretty well. Enemy units! Some Naga skirmishes. Okay, time to for you guys to move. That's it. Advance at speed. They are exhausted. Look at that. I need him to rest a little bit while he's not arriving with the other units, especially the Snaga skirmishes. Oh boy, if I at least had the ability now. That was a mistake on my behalf. At least they still run. You know, they, they have good stamina. I think they have, right? Very good stamina. Yeah. Yeah, any... If, if this was Medieval 2, any standard units would... would immediately start routing just because of the exhaustion, I would say. So, I need to take care of those Snaga archers, and you guy, you're gonna go against those goblin infantry. Snaga skirmishes are keeping up. Okay, let's start attacking. Attack there, and attack there. That's it. I'm on times two, guys, that's why everyone is so fast. Faster! There we go. Let's watch the fight with him, Ladris. Just don't make sure you don't kill Elrond. Snaga skirmishes and archers, they're attacking here. We gotta move some men here. It's just pursue, 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 pursuit, pursuit. Men, kill the goblin infantry, will you? Yeah, they're surely gonna die. These guys are gonna keep the other units down. Now they won't be able to attack me. How's the battle going? They are routing now. Yeah, I know they have lost half the men. Not an easy battle, I gotta say. On, just move forward. I don't want you to attack because when you send them to attack, the first line will move in to attack and to engage, but the other line won't do it. That's exactly what I don't want. Those skirmishes are shaken now. Try to attack them. Let's issue times two. Come on. Come on, snagger skirmishes. I don't want the skirmishes to get any shots so far and I I managed that. Now they're firing a few missiles. They shouldn't because they are in skirmish mode. Or they actually shouldn't because they are in melee mode I mean. Okay, they're shaken, we got the general. Oh, you, oh look at that slaughter. Let me show you. Continue battle. Come on. Kill them all. It's actually an awful place to fight, I gotta say. Come on, not charge, just hold them down and now start attacking them, that's good. Where are his go- oh, he's gonna lose everyone! And I lost, like, what? 10% of my men, even less? About half a unit? Not even so. Okay, times six. My elves can actually pursue those units, which is really, 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 really good. They have less, um, less stamina. Oh well, there we go. Victory is a nice reward. I lost 31 men. Yeah, that was not important. So, Elrond.
Should I keep Elrond here? Should I get it back to Imladris? I think I'm going to keep him on Imladris, rather. I, I certainly don't want to lose Imladris to a, a small army. Execute them all. No problem at Zag color for now. Okay, you guy, I'm going to go back to Imladris. You're going to go here. And going to go back into Zag Kala. You units, you're going to go here. My lord. Where's my spy? There you are. So, Imladris, you're going to build those Noretimo warriors and then you're going to sell it out. That's it. I want this for the upkeep. Where is my diplomat? Yes, my lord. There you are. Let's talk with Dale. Do you want trade rights? Not going to ask for anything now. Yeah. King Bard. Oh, I had so much fun with you. Map information. Let's require some payment. Something like this. They have a modest income, so maybe they will go for it. Barely accepted. How about an alliance? That's demanding. That is demanding. Doesn't matter. Oh, it was disappointing? Really? They, they find me disappointed. I can't uh, yes. talk with the dwarves now because I have, I have, I've had that action. So what can I do? I can do another recruitment on Imladris, or I can do that land clearance. I think this time I'm going to do the land clearance here. That's it. I certainly need to keep up the buildings yes. and stuff. Oh, uh, no missions whatsoever for now. Yeah, that's good. These units will start attacking the other cities. I know that Moria is around here and it's quite a good city from the Orcs and Misty Mountains. I need to reach this one. But the thing is, I'm not sure if I want to capture it because the Dwarves of Khazadum will always try to capture it. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. So these Sword Quenny, I can take them out and go even to Imladris. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll need two armies. I think I'm gonna have two armies, actually. What I'm missing is bow units, which I am producing, so that's fine. Let me end up the turn and make the, the necessary adjustments, and then I'll end up the episode, guys. I just wanted to make the diplomacy here at Mount Edible. Yeah. Shadow of Mordor should be tricky to, to destroy, you know, guys. Especially if the mountain trolls or cave trolls have so many uh, uh, trolls with them, you know, 17 is a lot. That makes it much uh, easier. Send an emissary to the dwarves arrival and they'll reward me with some military units. That's awesome. Thank you. I'm going to get that mission or immediately. Trade rights. That's good. Map information. I want your money. 700. Hope you get it. Ah! Balanced? Do you want an alliance? Certainly would like to. Not interested. Damn it. Okay, at least I got two units of Sword Quenny. I, I have a lot of Sword Quenny, I gotta say. This guy is gonna talk with Rune and such. Unit recruitment completed. That's fine. Not any more warriors. Construction complete. The artist's studio. That's good. I can have a grain exchange, of course. I need more money, I would say. Settlement details, now it's rising. New family member, end of turn, I'm meaning money. An agent was detected, that's fine. That's actually quite fine. You, sire, you're gonna move out with everyone. And Elrond is gonna move into a madness. So everyone but Elrond is gonna go down. I want a watchtower there. You can move over there. Spy, let's check out any other units. Yeah, this is a mountain orc army. Yes, my Okay, you you're gonna check with the uh, with our allies. I think I'll need this guy uh, to to move out. So these elvens are gonna move out. They have four archers, four units, and one general. This is a nice army. 
I'm gonna try and keep it that way. Yeah, the other spy, where is it? There you are. Just don't want any movements. Oh, they were ambushing here. I don't want to see any movements here. They were blocked. Yeah, this army will be nice. Then I'll have this one here on Imladris gathering up some more forces. Imladris, can you recruit anyone? You can't for now because I spent some money. Can I take that away? The grain exchange and start recruiting something. Artist studio? No, no need. Could recruit some swords and Dunedain rangers. Oh, eight turns for these guys. Hmm. Well, they're not at maximum, so I don't have that rush for now. Let me just get a grainy change there. It's a much better idea. Then I'll have some more money because I won't take too much with... Um, it won't take too much income uh, or upkeep. Uh, upkeep, that's it. Free upkeep while garrison. That's what I want. How many turns are you going to take? Turns about to reach about six turns to reach that rebel army, and I really need that. I won't capture this, but maybe I can ease it up. Certainly, don't want to have any problems with the dwarves of Khazad Doom. I don't know if they will attack me, but that's, that's something for uh, for the next episode, I would say. Yeah, just checking around everything. I know I check, double check everything, guys, but. You gotta do so if you're rushing in like I am. You know, I captured two settlements. I'm gonna capture the fifth or, or my fifth total uh, settlement. And yeah, this rebel city is a minor city. So it's really important that I get it immediately. Then I might even expand it to Dunland Isengard. Or I might go on this other side and expand into uh, the mountain... Uh, the the Moria, uh, spending into Moria, expanding here into Dol Kultur, and then going down into Mordor. I do need to destroy Mordor, so I think that's going to be some, uh, some. Uh, it's going to need that. Also, now that I think about it, I should be able to, I should attack the remnants of Angmar, nevertheless, just because they were, they are always going to attack me uh, uh, sooner or later with their, um, because I will be able to at war with Mordor, and I certainly don't want these guys hanging out, hanging out here. So cheers, guys, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this Imladris uh, episode, and that you are actually enjoying the Imladris campaign. Goodbye.